Hello. How's everybody doing? Thanks. Thank you very much. <clears throat> yeah, so I'm Scott, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about Suffolk University. I'm a current MBA student, and I'm also an admissions counselor. Next slide, please. So a little more about me. Um, there's my email right at the top. I encourage you to reach out to me. I am more than happy to help you out. Um, I've been with Suffolk for over two years now. And uh, again, reach out to me. I love helping international students. Um, so next slide, please. So some quick facts about Suffolk. We were founded in 1906. We are privately funded. We have a little over 7,000 students and at the graduate level, about 1,200. Um, we have 25% international students uh, and in the business school, that's actually around 30% uh, and 64% women uh, throughout the school. In terms of faculty, we have over 50% uh, international business school faculty. So that really speaks to our uh, international business uh, lens that we teach through. Next slide, please. Accreditation, yes. So uh, I think the most important accreditation to, to look for, particularly for business students, is AACSB, so the Association to Advance Collegiate Schools of Business International. Um, this is one of the more important ones, and again, it lends to an international approach. Um, since we're in a global economy, it makes sense that you would be looking for that sort of education. Next slide, please. So where actually is Suffolk University? Here's a, a map of the United States and you can see Boston in the northeast up there. Um, so we'll go to next slide, please. And this is zoomed in a little bit, so essentially the northeast of the United States. And you can see Boston uh, with New York being about a four-hour ride. Um, and D.C. about, mm, you could take the train in four hours. Uh, we don't have high-speed trains like you guys do, but you could still make it happen. Um, next slide, please. So this is downtown Boston, and this is our campus. Um, so this is Suffolk's big selling point is the ability to um, tap into all the firms in the area and really make sure that you get your hands dirty uh, while you learn. So we are right in downtown. <clears throat> the financial district uh, is right to the right. And we're also on, on Beacon Hill, which is where the state government sits and government center is where the city government sits. Uh, so we are really right in the middle of everything and, and leverage that as much as we can for students' uh, outcomes. Next slide, please. So the three pillars of a Suffolk education um, <clears throat> are, are as follows. So experiential learning, as I've been talking about, really ensuring that you get your hands dirty and get experience within the classroom or within your program. Um, so we do that through flash consultancy projects with firms in the city. Uh, and we also do quite a few internships and practicums. Um, many students can wave out of them if they want, but many students also see the value in them, uh, particularly being in downtown and having access to all of these institutions. So it lends to better outcomes. Global in scope, as I mentioned, AACSB accredited. Um, many international students, many international faculty. So having an internationally rooted curriculum makes sense. Um, and nationally diverse faculty and student body. So although it's international, people are coming from everywhere, which is really nice um, and allows you to get different perspectives on, on things. And outcome-based, as you saw, we have a little over a thousand grad students. So the programs are fairly small and allow for um, really individualized attention and, and a focus on on your outcomes, which is the, the bottom line. We do not just want to hand you a degree and say, see you later, go find a job. We work with you throughout uh, your education and make sure that you have the ability to, to network um, so that your outcomes do end up being better. <clears throat> Next slide, please. 
So a little bit about Boston. Uh, I've learned throughout my MBA what an amazing city Boston is in terms of business uh, and also culture, frankly. Um, so the, the main clusters in Boston are technology, finance, and healthcare, and then the intersection of uh, tech and healthcare and biotech and finance technology. Um, so if you're interested in any of those areas, Boston would be a good place to land and particularly Suffolk, uh, given its location right in the middle of the city. Next slide, please. So we have many programs. Um, on the left-hand side, you can see the business school programs. Um, and then on the right-hand side, you can see the College of Arts and Sciences with all of those uh, available programs. We also have dual degrees, uh, which I will talk about next. So next slide, please. So I'd like to highlight the MBA dual degree options um, because they're quite advantageous for international students. So the, the three in the middle here, the STEM designated uh, with at the MBA, MSBA, MSF, and MSM with the dual degree, they allow for uh, an additional two years of OPT if you plan on staying uh, in the U.S. And also, in order to get um, in order to get the second degree beyond your MBA, it only requires a semester, an additional semester of study. So, for many students, it ends up being worth it. You get two degrees um, in by only adding a semester of study. Next slide, please. So the Suffolk MBA, it's 14 to 20 courses. Uh, if you have a business background in undergrad, you will likely get many of those uh, courses, those core courses waived, which is why you see the 14 to 20. Many available concentrations. Uh, I think we might be up to 20 now at this point, actually. Uh, so I need to update these slides. But corporate finance, fintech, uh, business intelligence is a very popular one at this point, uh, strategic management. Next slide, please. <clears throat> also, keeping with Suffolk's pedagogy, um, travel seminars. You go for a week to London, Germany, Las Vegas, Silicon Valley, Brazil, maybe home, Singapore. Uh, and you go with 15 of your classmates or so and two faculty members and do flash consultancies for the whole week. So a lot of people say those are incredibly rewarding um, and I encourage students to, to look more into those. Next slide, please. So financial aid, we do offer competitive merit aid awards. You do not have to apply separately. So if you're admitted in your admission letter, you will receive your financial aid package or your merit aid package. Um, and this is often based on previous academic performance. Um, so we, we treat international students the, the exact same as domestic students in terms of merit aid. Um, so it's very easy. You know, you, again, you don't have to apply separately. If admitted, you receive it in your letter. And next slide, please. So yeah, Boston is our major selling point. Uh, we're right in the middle of it. We really leverage Boston and um, and it's also a great city just to have fun in. Lots of museums, lots of history, uh, great food, um, many parks. So I encourage you to, to look deeper into Boston um, and see really what, what it has to offer for you and in your career path. Next slide. All right, great. Finished a minute early. Look at that. I was very efficient today. <clears throat> and yes, I'm happy to to waive uh, your application fee by by attending this session. Again, just feel free to email me. Uh, I'm happy to help you out through the process in, in any way that I can. So do not be a stranger. <clears throat> All right. Thanks for your answer, Scott. So that will, uh, we're going to jump right into the Q&A session. Uh, I'm already seeing the students ask a question here. Um, the students ask, is dual degree harder to get than single degree? So I would say no. Um, it really depends on your preference. So it 
the main difference is that it extends your your program in terms of length. So you will be staying an extra semester. Um, and you do have to be accepted to both programs. So when you apply for a dual degree, you're accepted to the MBA and, for example, the Master of Science in Finance. Um, but beyond that, you know, they're not necessarily more difficult or anything like that. It's just uh, an extension, essentially. <clears throat> okay, cool. And um, okay, we're going to wait for another student to ask a question. And before, uh, we already prepared some interesting question for you. So uh, the question is, are uh, graduates able to find positions with firms that will sponsor my visa? Yes, yeah. So this is also why you want to be in a big city, um, because there's just more firms, there's more jobs, right? Uh, and more, fir more big firms willing to uh, sponsor international students. At Suffolk, um, because you're, you're working with these firms, both inside and outside of the classroom, students tend to do very well um, when it comes to getting sponsorship. Um, and, and part of that is because of the way that we teach and really make sure that you build a network in the city um, throughout your program so that you have access to all of these different resources. Also, Suffolk has a lot of alumni in Boston. Uh, because we're so centrally located, they don't tend to go too far outside of um, the Northeast. So having access to them is also very important and lends to better outcomes for students. <clears throat> okay, and uh, and last question is student ask, how long the, ex uh, how long the ex extensions takes? How long do extensions take? Yes, um, so... I'm guessing the question is how much longer does the dual degree take, um, which is one semester. Um, so because we're able to cross list so many courses between say MBA and marketing, you use all of your MBA electives in marketing, and then you only have one semester to essentially finish your marketing degree. Um, so the way that we've structured it makes it very easy. Um, and it just makes sense for a lot of students as well, um, both fiscally and, and just in terms of their goals. So I encourage students to look into those. They're, they're not that popular, I've noticed. Um, outside of Suffolk, as you look at other programs, there's not as many dual degrees. So uh, I think that's something that we really do well, is, is structure our programs in that way. All right, cool. Uh, thanks for your answer, Scott. So that will be all for your session. Uh, thanks so much for bringing us these opportunities to learn about Suffolk. Have a great day. Thanks, Bye. everybody. <clears throat>